Senator French. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. I'll present a contrasting view. This is a bad bill that should be voted down. It's a giveaway, it's a crapshoot, it's a far, far cry from our best work and what we're capable of doing. I've watched each committee negotiate against themselves, waiting for some positive word from the oil industry. The words never came. In fact, it was just the opposite. The last hearing on the bill in Senate Finance, I listened to senator after senator try to get the industry to commit to making more investment in Alaska if this bill passed. They all declined to commit. ConocoPhillips, British Petroleum, ExxonMobil. I'm going to vote against this bill today. For those of you who are going to vote for it, one thing you will not be able to say in the future is that the industry promised to do more. There are no promises that come with this bill. No promises whatsoever. If this bill is being passed in hopes of increased investment, that's all it is is hope. Then there's the hope that this will turn around the decline in taps. There was a great article that just ran uh, yesterday in the Fairbanks Daily News Minor. The title of that article was, Every Legislator Should Have Already Heard About 3% Decline Rate, predicted by ConocoPhillips. The story contrasted the process we've had here in the Senate this year with a typical investor call in which Conoco executives submit to getting grilled by Wall Street investors about their plans and their projects. Determining the correct decline rate is absolutely critical. Right now, the Office of Management and Budget is saying it's 